Is this band really Spider-Man from MeFans really worth the hype? Hmm. Let's find out. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSU81 and I hope you have a beautiful day today. So I would like to do a review for this, the amazing Spider-Man, the band really Spider-Man from Mayfax. This is the reissue for this spider band which I have missed out during the original release and I deeply regret it. I'm so glad that Mayfax decided to do a reissue for him. And I just like the design of the box. You can see spider band right over here and also the huge window box where you can see everything that it comes with. But one thing is that I kind of dislike this picture that they chose for. I would prefer the one from the 075 Spider-Man. This side of the box, we can see a very nice swinging pose for this Spider-Man. And this side of the box is looking very good as well. We do have a Medicom sticker right over here. And at the back of the box, is always my favorite where you can see all the cool poses of the Spider-Man as well as these heads that it comes with. The design, everything looks great. So, let's get him out. After taking out the figures, I would like to show you the inner design of this box which is just some plain spider web which is kind of lazy if you ask me because usually they will give some very nice building as a backdrop. Okay, so first of all, let's start with what this spider band comes with. I will start with the hands as always. So it just comes with a pair of close face hands that's already on the figure. A pair of wall crawling hands where I just love how they combine the blue and the red together. A pair of relaxed hands. A pair of web shooting hands. Another pair of relaxed hands whereby I think this is for holding on to his mask. A pair of web holding hands where you can use it during the swinging pose or you can also use it like a thumbs up hands. And lastly, another pair of wall crawling hands and a pair of foots which is magnetized. And he just comes with another interchangeable heads whereby if you were to compare with the heads on the figure, you can see this one here is slightly like a more angry look. And he just comes with an unmasked head together with the mask. Lastly, he just comes with these very standard six webbings whereby two for the short one, two for the medium one, and two for the long ones. And of course, like any other Mayfax figure, he just comes with a stance. So as you can see, this Ben Ready Spider-Man just comes with quite a number of accessories. And the amount of accessory is almost identical to the 075 Spider-Man. And next, we'll check out on the articulation. So I will start with the shape as always, so he can look to the right, looks to the left. Looking up, no issue at all. Looking down, even better because he has a separate neck on his own. So you can see it's a very good movement there. And for his arm, you can go 360 degree. Of course, he do have a butterfly joint that you can see the movement is pretty huge range. Okay. And also a bicep shivels, double joint elbow. Yep, pretty good there. And of course, you can move his hand around going up and down. Okay, there's two point articulations on the torso. So the one on the right beneath the torso, you can shivers it. Okay, you can turn as well. And of course, on his waist, you can also turn and do some shivering. Okay, so let's see how well he can bend forward. And that's pretty much, okay. Bending backwards is, wow, it's even better. Okay, not too bad. And also there is no gap on it. That's the best thing. And for his leg, there's a pull down mechanism, I believe. Yep, you can actually pull down. And let's see how well I can kick forward with the legs pulled out uh, about 90 degrees there okay kicking backwards uh, just slightly and there is no cuts on the pike so there's no shivers but you can still do some inner shivers a double joint knee yep very good movement there and of course you can also shiver his feet around going up and down and he just comes with a toe hinge as well okay so let's see with the legs being pulled down, how well he can do a split. Could it be a perfect split? Uh, almost, yeah, not a perfect split yet. So I believe the articulations is pretty much the same as with the rest of the Spider-Man, which is pretty good. Do click on the likes button if you enjoy this review. Thank you. Okay, so I'd like to start off the comparisons by comparing with some Marvel Legends Spider-Man. I do have this Iron Spider with the custom tentacles from Takaratoni as well as this Spider-Man 2099 and next we'll compare with some SH figures I have the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man which is the Tobey Maguire version as well as the amazing Spider-Man the Andrew Garfield versions and let's move on to some main facts I do have himself in a different 
outfit which is the scarlet spider as well as this the symbiote spider-man and at the same time i would like to compare with this the very first 075 spider-man also this amazing spider-man which is basically the same mold but it's just of the comic paint versions and lastly i think some of you guys will be very interested to know how does it fare with the rest of the non-spider-man mafex so i do have the iron man mark 85 as well as the wolverine so as you can see they are scaled differently i think it's scaled pretty well with the wolverine because uh, i think spider-man is supposed to be slightly taller as compared to the wolverine and next we shall take a look at the overall look for this guy here finally let's take an up close look of it uh previously i miss him because i don't really like <laughs> you know the overall look of this guy especially the blue and the red you know to me scarlet spider is the one that i like which is this version here yeah that's why i don't really dig this design but now as i look at it more wow it just kind of grew on me and you guys know me i kind of love when the symbol is like bigger just like a bigger superman symbol on the chest this is something like it and it just looks very good somehow the blue still looks pretty odd to me but uh i think at least it's something different yeah it just kind of grows on me wow you can you see that even at the back you have a very big spider at the back it's very nice and yeah i think it, i grew to like this outfit and the head i think is very similar to the ones that we are uh, used to the spider-man nothing different about his head just the suit differences and this is how it looks like with the alternate head which shows that he's slightly more angrier or more focused and here's the Amma's head of Ben really wow I kind of think he's quite a good looking guy and let's go through some fun stuff which is a quick comparison with this 075 spider-man I would like to compare with him because I kind of feel that, that they are of the same mold so let's take a closer look and yeah as you can see the torso is already different other than the paint of course you can see for the 075 spider-man is slightly more slicker and this one do have the big gap here that you can see the <laughs> yeah it's not as fitting as this guy but um yeah the paint is of course very much different even the blue is a lot different and other than that i think they are uh, or of course the sculpture of the foot you can see is also of a very different one this one can you turn no you can't turn <laughs> but basically i think the mold is kind of the same yeah it's just that they actually sculpted it uh differently but the mold i think is the same the torso is different and of course the head uh, I think even if I switch them, you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, the head is very much similar. The butt, yeah, I think it's the same butt. <laughs> yeah, other than that, I think it's very much the same. Okay, so this is something different as compared to the 075 Spider-Man as well because I believe the 075 Spider-Man doesn't come with an extra hand for holding on to the mask. And you can see that there is a pack for this hand which is supposed to hold on to the mask correctly so there is a hole at the end of the mask if i'm not wrong yeah it's somewhere around here okay so what you need to do is you just need to uh, pack the holes in something like this yes and then he will hold the mask very very nicely as you can see it works for both hands now here comes the big difference which is the amas here you can see peter parker and ben really looks very much different the hair color the hairstyle the facial expression is entirely different i think this is a very well made you can see the eyes everything is so detailedly paint while this one is still <laughs> even the skin tone this one looks very odd as compared to this one but this guy is yeah we have to give credit because he was made quite a long time ago as compared to this band really yeah so here's the difference Okay, so for my final verdict, I would think that this guy is a must-have if you are a big Spider-Man fan and even more if you are a Mayfax collector, I think this guy must be in your collection. Take me for example, I actually miss him out and I deeply regret it and I'm lucky enough to be able to grab hold of him when he actually out for reissues so this guy really do needs to be in your collections as he looks pretty cool so i hope you enjoy my review and i certainly hope that it helps you to decide if you should get this guy and the answer is a yes and i'll catch you guys again in my next video i hope you'll check out this video right over here